Good morning everyone. It's me Anvita Nigam from Sri Ram uh, Ram Sarup Memorial University. And my topic uh, which I'm going to teach you today is weight maps in early embryos. So let's just take a look over it. Fate map. What is fate map? The fate of a cell describe what it will become in the course of normal development. The fate of a particular cell can be discovered by labeling that cell and observing what structure it becomes a part of. When the fate of all cells of an embryo has been discovered, we can build a fate map, which is a diagram of that organism at an early stage of development that indicates the fate of each cell or region at a later stage of development. A fate map tells us which parts of the egg or early embryo contributes to specific tissue or structure at some later advanced stage of development. So it's uh, more like fate map is something which uh, shows us the uh, a course of development means like the whole development cycle of an organism how from like being an egg it changes into larva and adult like how it grows how its uh, organ grows up and we can see it by marking it like you see it here. It's like clear view of everything, ectoderm, meso, like every layer. And construction of fate map. In practice, one makes some sort of mark on or inside the egg or embryo with any number of agents, charcoal dye, salt, or modern agents like fluorescein molecules or proteins, like there are many others, enzyme, anything it can be. Whichever way you choose, the principle is the same. You can mark it zero, X, or you can mark it anything you want, or you can just color it. And it's also too important to be able to orient your marks on an embryo with respect to some asymmetric feature such as in pigment difference or unique structure like if you are making two three marks on the particular embryo or the egg so you have to be like you are changing the color don't change the pattern put it xxx it's fine but change the color of that uh, from which you are making that x you can change the color like from use black then you can use blue like change it because you can't define which structure it is when it grows up now you can see it here like three view of a xenopus uh, late blastula lateral dorsal and exterior view of that now comes to the types of fate map natural marking first is the cytoplasm of certain eggs such as those of acedians has natural pigments there's an eggs of a styla, four colored pigment centers have been recognized, an upper hemisphere of light protoplasm and yellow crescent prostereo ventrally, a gray crescent entero dorsally, and a vegetal area of dark gray algae substance. It has been revealed that the upper clear cytoplasm contains the material for epidermal ectoderm. The gray crescent area differentiates into the prospective neuroectoderm and notochord the yellow crescent becomes the prospective mesoderm and the dark gray algae area forms prospective endoderm natural marking is more like a particular egg or uh, whichever the thing you are taking or the cell it has color uh, like from before only like they have pigment they are pigmented like they have colors in them like in this style of the eggs of styla they have uh, like upper hemisphere they are like light protoplasm yellow crescent is posterior ventrally like they have colored so when they grow like in the structure and thing you can uh, see it clearly or you can recognize it clearly second is artificial markings there are three methods to mark or label the early blastomeres by which their fate can be traced out <coughs> Sorry, they are first is vital staining. Early embryologists use vital dyes which would stain but not harm the cells. To follow the movement of individual cells or group of cells, the tissues to which the cells contribute would thus be labeled and visible in the adult organism. Walker used small chips of agar impregnated with a vital dye. Walker is a scientist who used the small chips of agar which are impregnated means it was uh, like uh, dipped in the dye or just uh, he just put dye on it like uh, on a par, uh, small chip he 
put dye on it, he dyed it, which is placed on a particular cell or a population of cells in xenopenous embryos until the dye absorbed into the yarn platelets within the desired cells. Once the cells were effectively labeled, the agar chip could be removed and the embryos was allowed to develop normally. Like here, you, we have to just put the <clears throat> way, uh, like we have dyed the, like we want to draw something, like we want to dye, dye something, sorry. Uh, then uh, there is an egg, like I show you the image. Like here is a plasterized stage embryo. It's a Vogget snail is the whole experiment, how it done. He, which the, the small chip he, uh, he took was here, was dyed, like impregnated, which is, he put it here. Like when it uh, takes the whole stain or absorbs the whole stain, they removed it. Like small chip, which uh, which is uh, small chip is removed. After it grows up, you can see here it's a stained brain and stained notochord. Like it be there. It's not like they it didn't get uh, absorbed and you removed it. Like वो पहले थोड़ा absorb कर ले last relay stage जो embryo है. उस पार्ट पे जहां पे आप रख रहे हो इस चिप को चिप्स को वहां वो चीज ना एब्सॉर्ब हो जाए इसलिए और ये नाइल ब्लू नाइल रेड कलर के भी होती हैं डाइज लाइक यू कैन टेक एनी वन ऑफ देम सेकंड इज कार्बन पार्टिकल मार्किंग द टेक दिस टेक्निक वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय स्प्राट टू स्प्राट टू डेमोंस्ट्रेट द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व्ड इन प्रिमिटिव स्ट्रीक फॉर्मेशन चिक दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ अप्लाइंग टाइनी पार्टिकल्स ऑफ कार्बन over the surface of blastomeres they stick to the cell surface and enable to follow the movements of the cells and to determine the fate of these blastomeres in this you can just streak uh, streak primitive streak formation in check like you can just use carbon particle tiny carbon particles you can put on the blastomere surface is just an easy one and third is radioactive isotope labeling the radioactive isotope such as C14MP was used to label the early blastomeres by carefully following the course of these radio isotopes. The fate of blastomeres can be determined. Here you can use radioactive isotopes basically for seeing the how the particular organ or a tissue or a cell grown up or a group of cell even or a single cell how it grows like how is it in uh, when it uh, like uh, start to grow the shape of it and when it become adult how it looks like for seeing that for getting the view of it for studying it uh, so like identifying it and studying it so correctly you can you do all these stuffs so end of this thank you